You're on. Hi, my name is Ebony Simmons. I'm a senior at Garrett Academy. Uh, oh, this is Earth Science. I wrote a poem for section one, and I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to explain to you my chapter. Okay, it starts. The Himalayas, the Rockies, and the Andes didn't get here at all with a smooth ease. The surface of the earth is always changing, the changes that result from deformation. Stress is a force that causes pressure in the rocks. The stress causes strain which can pull a rock apart. The three main types of stress we are dealing are compression, tension, and the third one, shearing. Okay, let me tell you about this stuff. Compression is the force, it squeezes the rocks together and it reduces the volume of rocks. Um, tension pulls the rock apart, which can make it become thinner. Shearing pushes rock in opposite horizontal directions. And this, this makes it bend, twist, or break in the process. That's it for me, section one. Um, my name is Ashley Canty. I'm a junior at Earth Science Garrett Kelly. Um, Ebony gave me a poem to read. Um, rules are very about to do. The results the scripts can have a result on you. And um, when rock becomes permanently deformed without breaking, the results is forming. There are three types of folds, folds which are any kind, which are curved folds and layer of rock, string kind, down curved folds, and one kind of gently dips, dipping in. The result of rock by stress is not always folded. Sometimes it's stress. It responds by breaking the cool temperatures and lower, lower, lower pressures causes it. Hi, my name is Stephen Mitchell, and our class is 2A, <laughs> <laughs> two, uh, two and I'm an earth science, and I, I'm a GNT. My topic is about mountain formation, and I'm about to read you a poem that everyone gave me. Roses are red, violets are blue, while the earth forms mountain dew too. Each mountain is a part of a mountain range, a group of adjacent mountains with the same general shape and structure. Like a group of individual mountains make up a range, a group of adjacent mountains make up a mountain system. The circumference, the circum Pacific Belt, and the Europe, and the Eurasian Legion Belt are the largest mountain systems. Both of, the, both of these mountain belts are located on convergent plate boundaries. Um, some mountains are formed by the collision of oceanic and continental crust. When the plate collides, the oceanic crust is subducted beneath the oceanic crust. The, this pushes up high mountains, collisions that form mountains can also occur between oceanic and oceanic crust and, and between continental crust. Scientists classify mountains by the way crust up was deformed and shaped by mountain building forces. Some type of mountains are folded, plat plateaus, fault, fault blocks, gardens, volcano, and dome. And this is it. Hi, my name is Brandon McNeil. I'm a junior at Garrett Academy of Technology, and my science is our science. I will read you some, uh, a selection from my uh, article. The main force that makes the earth move apart are plate tectonics. These plates are made up of rock, but the rock is in general lightweight compared with the denser fluid layer underneath. This allows the plate to float on top of the denser material. Movements deep within the earth which carry heat from the hard interior 
to the cooler surface cause the plates to move very slowly on the surface about two inches per year. When plates pull away from each other, large bolts form when plates slide past each other. And that's the end of our report on section five, chapter five.